Hey guys, it's Lisa back with another video for you for Lisa Wise Designs. And today we're gonna to continue talking about the kits that are coming out from me. They're available right now on my Etsy shop at Lisa Wise Designs. That'll be linked below, as will a coupon code for 10% off if you spend over $10. So go on over there and check that out. So this is the first one we're going to do the video series of. It's a fall crate and a mini album. And these videos are going to start on June the, tw uh, June the 8th, so you've got plenty of time to go on over there, purchase it, and get it in the mail. Through Memorial Day weekend, you can use that coupon code. And so let's get started taking a deeper look into this really cutesy project. So first of all, what's in the kit? Well, you have a choice. You can get a physical kit sent to your home. Looks just like this. We'll go through that or you can choose to purchase the tutorial only. So what that will be is a PDF that you will download. You can print it out or you can follow along on your computer and just scroll through it. And keep in mind, we will have um, videos that will go step by step, but this is actually a color of, uh, this is actually a color cutting guide, an assembly guide that you will have at your fingertips so you can see step by step. And I hope that helps you so you don't have to stop the video, go back if you're going toward the end and see exactly how I decorated, which tags I'm using, you know, exactly what the finished product should look like if you want to follow along step by step. If you've taken one of my classes at Made at Con, it's gonna be very similar to that. You're gonna get this cutting guide, assembly guide. Um, on this particular project, I also include a second PDF. This is the Impossible Card template for, for, for a five by five square sheet of paper. So um, we're gonna be using this inside the project, so you get that. So I would um, tell you to download this on actual size, not fit to page, and you wanna put it on um, cardstock if you can. That'll be helpful for you for this template. So if you buy the physical kit, you get both of these items already printed for you in your kit, plus everything you need to make the kit. But this gives you another option if you want to use up uh, your crafting supplies that you may have at home because we all have a stash, right, if we've been doing this long enough. Okay, so we put this out of the way. All right, so say you order the, the, um, the physical kit. Put this out of here. You're going to get two baggies. Um, one of them's going to have a lot of twine in there for you, and I did that separately because twine, you know, seems to want to flake off of this, so I don't want to get that integrated with our other goodies. So you get another bag of goodies, I call it. It's got your tags. It's even got foam squares in it. These uh, loops here, of Velcro that's going to go on the bottom. You've got three different colors of of this uh, seam binding or a ribbon. You get your elastic, that'll be your closure. You get these cute little mini uh, clothespins and you also get one um, teeny tiny eyelet, so don't, don't lose that when you open it. And other things in here like your four by six index cards that will help hold your place for where your photos go if you're giving this for a gift. So like I said before, you're gonna get the cutting guide already printed for you, and you're going to get the, um, the Impossible Card template already printed on cardstock for you. Then you get Cartabella's Fall Break Paper. You get 12 sheets of pattern paper that's front and back, and it also comes with the 12 by 12 stickers. So obviously I've been into this one looking at it because the stickers are turned around. So let's take a look at these closer. I don't know about you, but I absolutely love fall colors. I love Christmas colors too. I guess I just like those jewel tones. But this is some beautiful paper. It, it really, really is. This paper really caught my eye. And of course, it's got the red truck still on trend. It's been a couple of seasons now. This is, look at the rich jewel tones, beautiful. Oh. So wouldn't these really make beautiful cards with any leftovers you have? See, we use this one as an area that we're going to do our journaling in. I thought that would be a really cute way to do that. Look at this. It looks like a specimen page, <laughs> but for veggies. <laughs> I love it for different squashes. 
I don't know if this is doing it justice, but that is a beautiful dot. It's like an aqua greenish bluish color with orange on it. And orange is not my favorite color, even though I'm an Auburn fan. But, but um, it doesn't look good on me, but I love fall colors. So therefore I have to wear blue instead of orange most of the time if I'm <laughs> supporting my team. Look at this, isn't this cute? See, I, I use the scarecrow so you could personalize it and use this lady if you wanted to. They're exactly the same size. And I really showcase this one because there's an inside joke about this in our part of the country. So we'll get to that in the uh, video series. Look at this. This is so pretty. I, I just don't know. I couldn't have come up or designed something I liked more. Look at these acorns. <laughs> so cool. So I use this one for the back of the album because I absolutely love all these blocks that's got these individual uh, portraits on it. And so since nothing was going to cover it up, I could really enjoy that on the back. Some small leaves, a beautiful plaid that helps bring in that bluish green color. And look at those pumpkins. Last, I have to say this real quick, last uh, fall, May May and Brenda and I went shopping and they helped me pick out some of the most beautiful fall decorations. And this bluish greenish, I don't know what color it is, aqua pumpkins were in there and I had them in my house last fall. I have never loved my fall decorations more than last year. I cannot wait to bring them back out. This has got that same colors in it, even though they might look a little different on screen. Look at that. I hope you love this paper as much as I do. And here we go with the stickers. Beautiful red truck. This is the thing that I showcase on the front. We're gonna use this autumn. We're gonna use uh, the ones here that says fall, these banners. We're gonna use a lot of these stickers and the stickers that we don't use, you can really um, use them in some cards like that one that I showed you before. And I even show you the ways to use these really long border stickers, what I like to do with them. Okay, it's kind of back together here. So then you're also gonna get your three pieces of craft 12 by 12, 80 pound paper. This is a uh, paper accents. And they also make um, 50 to 52 point chipboard, which that's a medium weight, which is what I like to use. It's kind of like Goldilocks, not too thin, not too thick, it's just right. So you're gonna get those in your pack. And I even tell you what I recommend to finish off this kit, what you're gonna need, and this will be on your cutting guide. It's gonna tell you kind of what you need and then what tools that you will need. Um, a paper trimmer and a chipboard blade, which that just means an older blade that you don't mind getting um, dull because you're not you're gonna be using it on chipboard to kind of put a crease in it, not cut all the way through, but we'll get there. So if you've got a, a blade that you're changing out pretty soon, just hang on to it, you'll want that. A scoreboard with a bone folder, some double-sided tape, anything three eighths of an inch or below. A quarter of an inch would work, six, eight, 10 millimeter sizes would work, anything that's not a half of an inch, anything below that. Art glitter glue or any other type of glue that you prefer to mat um, your items with. And I recommend the We Are Memory Keepers, the Corner Chomper and the Crocodile Hole Punch because we're gonna be punching through chipboard if you have those. And I love to distress my uh, edges, so I use Vintage Photo Distress Ink and an ink blending tool. So those are the, the tools that I use in this. So if you missed my last video, this is what the project looks like. It's a very country looking crate. It's got round edges. It's approximately three by six by seven. And it's got Oh, these beautiful ribbons in it. And so I was just so proud of me that I actually made this card with my leftovers. I used foam tape and popped it up and I made um, this Dutch door style card, which I haven't made before, but it's really simple and really cute. Very effective, right? I like it. <laughs> and that's not even part of the, of the actual kit, right? And so it's got this elastic closure. He starts out with these three really cute tags in the front, which of course you get all that in there. You saw that in your kit. There's that truck, tuck point. So we're going to make very good use of our paper, but leave room for photos, because that's what it's all about, right? So at least room for 12 photos in here. You could even get more if you decided to use tuck places, or if you did not want to put 
um, the four by six cut aparts here. If you wanted to put a photo here, that would give you another one there. But this is a really good way to showcase that pattern paper that we have fallen in love with, we spent our good money on, and that we want to showcase. So I've tried to, uh, uh, to do a balancing act between the pattern paper and the photos in this particular project. Another really cute tag, so you can just slip your photo in there. I am giving you the four by six index cards and um, you can stamp place photo here. Now the stamp is not included for that, but you can get that at May May Made It. This is from her Aunt Action stamp set. I use this place photo here all the time out of that one. It's basically wore out. And look how cute. I just love this. These are popped up. Just be aware that if you put more layers than this on here, that you might not be able to close it where it's flat. And when you first put it together, it's not flat anyway. You gotta get those paper fibers time to relax. But you can see mine looks pretty good now. It's got um, about a half of an inch gusset here. Here's the back of it with that beautiful paper with the eyelet. I show you step by step how I do this. And voila, done, very cute. This album comes together so quickly. So all you need is those few, few tools. You will have to cut your paper and you will have to cut your um, chipboard, but I walk you through how to do that with a regular paper trimmer. It's not difficult, but like I say, you might want to hold on to an older blade because it will dull the blade cutting through chipboard if you're not cutting through paper pretty quickly. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough, and please go on over to Etsy and check out my listings. And if you decide to make this project exactly the way it is, or this project with another a paper pack, which I think would be really phenomenal. Please go over to my Facebook group, Lisa Wise Designs, and share it there. We all love to see each other's work. We lift each other up, there's no negativity, and we all get inspiration from each other, and I love it. I love to get, gain inspiration from folks. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next video.